highlight today to the amazing Prince of I know it's software they use. Oh, do not touch. Sorry. <laughs> Is this the, the one model or do you have different sizes? Uh, we just have one model currently. Uh, it's the Form 1. Okay. So this cube right here is the full build volume. So this okay. is uh, the largest thing it can print. Okay. Uh, so unlike most FDM machines, which use a plastic filament, uh -huh. uh, this is a stereolithographic machine. It's so stereolithographic. Uh -huh. So we use a UV laser to cure a, cure a photoactivated polymer. Mm -hmm. uh, and because we use a laser, you can get really fine surface finish. Yeah, um, nice so like, finish. Yeah. If you want, you can like, handle one of these, and you can right. see that you can barely see any of the layer stepping. Uh -huh. uh, whereas right. with most FDM machines, you can you can see. Wow, that is the, nice. Very smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. And they're all printing like this, right? Yep. They all get printed upside down. And have you guys been creating these machines for a while? Uh, yep. So we've been shipping machines for a bit over a year now. A year, uh-huh. Uh, and so uh, they're how, much, yep. how much does it run? Like the cost? Yes. Uh, it costs $3,299. Okay. Um, $3,300. The machine, a resin tank, uh -huh. and one free liter of resin. And how much is the resin to buy additional? Uh, so if you buy a separate liter of resin, it's $149 uh -huh. for a liter. Okay. Uh, and that'll get you about 70 of these rooks. 70 rooks. Okay. All right, so let's see. So it's doing it here? Yep, this one's printing and the one over there. Oh, that one over there just finished. Oh, good. I want to go see it. Let's 3D system machine. 3D systems in here. Yeah. We just finished printing. What was it? Did you see it move up? No. Because no. I wonder if it's curing. Is that what they say it's doing? It's curing? Deposition modeling. I'll have to remember that. FDM. Good job. What happens? Alright, so after it comes up, uh -huh. you can, uh, you'll take the uh, build platform off, which is this black thing here. Right. Uh, bring it to the uh, finish pit, uh -huh. uh, and then set it here, and you know, make sure you have gloves on. Uh -huh. uh, you can take and pop off the part. Mm -hmm. Uh, drop it into the isopropyl alcohol, and we isopropyl have alcohol, uh, okay. a little, uh, there should be a rinse basket here, and then you uh -huh. sort of agitate the part to clean off any of the uh, left on 
resin of skin cured right. uh, for about like 10 minutes or so. Okay. And then you do a uh, final rinse and air dry the part and that's pretty good to go. And do you have to let it sit there for a while before you bring it out? Uh, you don't have to. Uh, there might be like a few drips here and there that will um, you know, would drip off if you let it sit there for a while. I but see. You can, the instant it's done and up to the top, you can pull it off and oh. start, start for the process. Okay. All right. Thanks.